Welcome to my next tutorial on Python. Today I will talk about magic methods, which begin and end with double underscores. They are also called private class methods or dunders. Python triggers these methods automatically at runtime. When the interpreter encounters the built-in function or operator that corresponds to the magic method. For example, when you use plus operator, Python calls special method add behind the scenes. But if you implement your own add method in your class, Python will invoke your add method each time when you use plus operator with any instance of your class. Let's see some common magic methods in Python. If you have written a class in Python, then you know what init method does. Init method initializes the object with the values passed as arguments. I have actually covered init method in my other tutorial on constructors. But let's see a very simple example of init method. In this example, I have class player. The class player contains an initializer method and two other methods. The initializer method takes three arguments, self which is the object itself, name and health. Other two methods get name and get health return instance variables name and health. Note initializer method doesn't return anything. Now in main I have created an instance of class player by calling initializer method. Now when I call both get name and get health methods, Python returns both instance variables name and health. So initializer method is a very simple method to initialize objects with certain values. And sometimes it is also known as constructor. But in reality, init method is not a constructor. If you don't want to use initializer method, you can create your own set name and set age methods, as shown in this example. But init method just makes your life easy, and you can do a lot of advanced stuff which is not easy to do with set name and set age methods. Now let's see the real constructor in Python that is new. New is rarely used in Python and it handles object creation. I have already covered new in my other tutorial on constructors, but let's see a very simple example of new. In this example, I have controlled the total number of objects to be created from class player. So I have created two class variables, total number of objects and current number of objects. In my new constructor, I check whether current number of objects are greater than maximum number of objects. If this is the case, I raise an exception. Otherwise, I call the new constructor of my parent class object. The class object is parent class of all classes in Python. I will cover the object class in one of my next tutorials. Now in main, whenever I try to create third object, Python returns me an error. Now let's move to next under del. This is also known as destructor and is called when the instance is about to destroy it. Without the explicit call to del, del is only called at the end of the program. Unlike in C++, Python has automatic garbage collection, which means that objects are deleted from the memory when they are no longer accessible to the program. So normally you don't have to define destructor in Python. Now let's see a simple example of destructor. I have taken the same old example and inside my class player I have defined del method in which I reduce the class variable current number of objects by 1. Now after creating two objects I have called del destructor to delete object 1 which deletes object 1 and reduces the class variable current number of objects by 1 so I can create new object. I hope now you have basic understanding of init, new and del methods. Now let's see other dunders. 